The case of Gulf Echo Gulf Victor Alpha serves as a vital safety reminder to all pilots about flying in cloud over water and land, and the importance of being licensed to fly in different weather conditions. Victor Alpha had been planned using flight planning and navigation apps and would have operated at 5,000 feet. Convective cloud was forecast along their route over the English Channel. As the flight reached the middle of the channel at around 9.15am, one of the pilots operating under visual flight rules radioed to say they are encountering cloud. Neither of the pilots were qualified to fly in cloud and neither held an instrument rating or an IMC qualification. Shortly after its last transmission, Victor Alpha disappeared from radar. Victor Alpha had been planned using flight planning and navigation apps and would have operated at 5,000 feet. The flight should have taken an hour and 38 minutes. Evidence shows pre-flight plans were not shared between the fly-up pilots and each of them on the trip made their own weather assessments. Everything had appeared normal as the Victor Alpha pilots posted videos of themselves passing ashore and by sea at 8.46am. Heavy cumulus clouds can be seen quite clearly ahead of the flight across the English Channel. Both pilots were wearing their shoulder harnesses under their life jackets, potentially risking entanglement in an accident. Radar showed the aircraft at 5,000 feet, then descending to 3,000 feet before climbing to 7,000 feet, possibly to try and avoid the cloud cover. It's unknown whether the pilots entered the cloud without realising, but video evidence and reports from the other fly-out pilots revealed the cloud, and some water spouts were clearly visible. Other pilots on the trip flew around the cloud, and one diverted to shore and by sea. But on Victor Alpha, both pilots have flown through cloud before without issue. Was it this confidence that made them press on? At 9.16am, the last radar record shows Victor Alpha descending rapidly 20 nautical miles west of the 2K. It's hazardous to enter cloud and not qualified to do so, and outside of instrument flying practice. And the AAIB has had to investigate many accidents when control has been lost in cloud. Let's stay safe fly within our limits, plan ahead, respect the weather and be prepared to divert. For more advice, read the CAA Safety Sense leaflet, Pilot, It's Your Decision, review the Skyway Code on pre-flight weather decision making and see the life jacket advice in the CAA Safety Sense leaflet, Ditching.